Hello and good morning, Paul here. And when I say good morning, it is morning. It is just before 8 a.m. And I'm here at Air Force at Allswater at the Park Road Car Park. Now, two things. One, why am I here at 8 o'clock in the morning? And two, why am I at the Park Road Car Park and not the, the main car park for Air Force, which is just down the road? Well, the main car park at the moment is operating on a booking system where you've got a pre-book online. You go online, you book your time, whatever you're going to arrive, and you pay online and you turn up. But the first pre-booking time was 10 a.m. And I knew I wanted to be here early, so I didn't know whether it was shut before 10 a.m. or could you park there without pre-booking before 10 a.m. I wasn't sure, so I thought I'd come to this car park first because, well, it's the first one on the road anyway. When you come down from Dock Ray, it's the first car park you get to. So I thought I'd come to this one because I knew this one was open and this one's just a pain display, so you don't have to pre-book for this one. So why am I here just before 8 o'clock in the morning? Well, the reason I'm here this early is because, and I'll show you around, there's nobody else here. There's nobody else here and I wanted to get here nice and early because today it's hot. I mean, it is 8 o'clock in the morning, I'm wearing shorts and t-shirt, so it's hot today, so it's going to be busy. So I thought I'd get here nice and early, see if I could get down to the Air Force waterfall and get some pictures before the crowds came. Before we go any further, let's talk parking prices. Um, as you can see there, £4.50 for up to two hours, £6 for four hours, or £7 uh, for over four hours parking. One thing to note about the, uh, the car park as well, um, Park Brow car park, I think I said Park Road before, it's actually called Park Brow. Um, the parking ticket machine only takes cash doesn't take cards, so uh, make sure that uh, if you are going to park at that car park, you've got the correct change. Another good advantage of using the Park Brow car park is that it's not as far to walk to get to the falls. Now they've put a one-way system in place because of the COVID-19 issues. So you've got to follow a one-way system round. But um, shouldn't be too much of a problem at this time of the morning because there's nobody else here. And I can hear the sound of running water, so... Oh yeah, there we go. There's Aero Force. Can't see much from here, but we'll have a, a walk around and go over the top of the falls and out the bottom. It looks like the dry weather we've been having recently has uh, certainly reduced the amount of water coming down there. It's usually gushing down there, but uh, not much more than a trickle at the moment. Here we are, right at the top.
so that's Aero Force. It may not be Niagara, it may not be Victoria Falls, but it's certainly beautiful. While we're in the area, let's get back in the car, nip down towards water, and have a wander by the lake. And just like that, here I am on the shores of Ulls Water. I'm down by the steamer pier in Glen Ridding. Uh, no steam is running at the moment because of the, uh, the global pandemic. Hopefully it won't be uh, too much longer before they're up and running again. I've parked in the car park here, it's £4 for three hours in this car park. While I'm on the subject of car parks, if you go to the uh, Lake District website, lakedistrict.gov.uk, they have um, a live uh, schedule on there for all the car parks. It tells you how busy they are, what type of machines they are, whether they take cards, whether they take cash. It doesn't tell you the prices, unfortunately. You don't find that out until you actually park there. Uh, but it's a good place to start if you are heading into the lakes and you want to find out whether it's busy or it's not busy. If you head to lakedistrict.gov.uk, they've got all the details there of how busy it is or it isn't. I'm just going to head up now into the uh, into the village. I noticed on the uh, the drive through that the village shop was open, so I'm going to go and see if I've got anything there uh, nice to eat because I'm getting a bit peckish. Um, the car park here, I did say it was four pound for three hours. That four pound ticket is enough time to do a full cruise of the lake, just in case you were wondering. And uh, speaking of drives on the way down here to the village, what a drive it is down that road beside Oswater. Absolutely stunning views. It's difficult to keep your eyes on the road. I did have to stop a couple of times and take a couple of photographs. Um, absolutely beautiful. I'm just looking at the level in this beck and the work that they've done for uh, flood defences down here because it isn't that long ago that um, this was all flooded the hotel was completely flooded I think, in fact I think it's been flooded twice I think it is in the last 10 years um, but uh, obviously not as much water in now as what there was at the time and uh, it does seem as if they've done a bit of, good bit of work clearing it out and shoring up the defences So here I'm in the uh, in the village. That's the Glen Reading Hotel right in front of me. Uh, just so you know where I came from, right uh, down there, you can just and so see the blue sign. That's where the uh, steam pier and car park is. That's the the village shop and a couple more shops up in this direction and some more evidence of those uh, new flood defences that they've uh, they've put in recently. really quiet here this morning still it's only well, it's half past nine I suppose uh, with the hotels and campsites and everything being shut anybody who's visiting for the day will be uh, will be arriving by car so they won't be coming until probably probably about the next half hour to an hour before people starting start to arrive what time is it now half past nine by about half past ten I would say we'll probably see a few more people it is nice though, I've been nice and quiet like this, very unusual for this time of year in the lakes. It has been a truly beautiful morning this morning, definitely well worth the effort getting up at 6.30 to get here for 8 o'clock. I uh, went to Air Force waterfall, had the whole place there to myself, which I've never ever experienced before, but it was absolutely brilliant. I could have all the time I needed to take some photographs and wander about the place with nobody else there bumping into me or getting in the way. That was absolutely uh, fantastic. And also down here in Glen Ridding at uh, Ullswater, very, very quiet. 
most likely to do with the fact that none of the, the hotels or guest houses or campsites are actually open at the moment so people will have to travel if they're coming for the day um, so it's probably what makes it quieter this time in the morning but it's just so peaceful and quiet on a warm summer's day like today or a warm spring day I would expect to see a lot more people but times being as they are people not being allowed to stay overnight and travel too far you can understand why it's quiet but um, definitely worth it definitely worth it this morning thanks for joining me make sure you subscribe to the channel for more videos in and around Cumbria and the Lake District and now that uh, lockdown is starting to lift I'll be getting out and about and uh, going to a few more places than I've been able to over the last couple of months thanks for joining me that'll do for now and I'll see you in the next one bye bye